Hello and welcome to Rain and Rail Enthusiast and a continuation of our Along the Railway Line series along the Darrant Valley Line. And today, I'm at Swanley. The station lies on the convergence of the Chatham Main Line, the Maidstone East Line and the Darrant Valley Line. As such, it is a fairly busy interchange in the southeast of London. The station in its current location opened in 1939 after a previous station, Swanley Junction, was closed the same year. That station had previously been known as Seven Oaks Junction and was opened in 1862. A layout of two island platforms were constructed with extensive brick built buildings on both. They had extensive 400 foot canopies and connection up to street level via steps, which also led to the modest ticket hall and two exits either side. At this time, this overbridge had a glass roof. Another footbridge for public right of way spanned the platforms, although it has never had access to them. A signal box was placed at the down section of the station, and this also housed an extensive brick built base for maintenance staff. The next major change came in 1958, with metal gantries installed to accommodate the new three aspect lights, and by the mid 1970s, the original modest station building was replaced by an even duller one, similar in style to that that is still seen at Newington. However, fast forward to 2021, and at last a decent station building is opened at Swanley. A modern glass frontage and blue brick design, it certainly elevates what had become quite a boring looking suburban station. At time of filming, passenger traffic is provided by class 377, 375 and class 700 electric multiple units. And here on platform one and two, there are some seating, as well as some dot matrix displays. The platform area is quite wide and spacious, as you'd expect for a London commuter station. Further along this platform, there are some gentlemen's toilets, which are only open from seven in the morning till seven in the evening. And as we go further down, there should be a waiting room with some female toilets however at time of filming this facility unfortunately is not available however as this notice does suggest ladies are available to use the accessible toilet it's nice to see this small planter given to the station by the Darrant Valley Community Rail Partnership which during the summer should brighten up the platform considerably As you can see, for the enthusiast, videography and photography is fantastic. This fantastic uh, set of lines moving away from the station will give some excellent photographs. Further on from looking at the other waiting area, down further on the platform I have found this what looks like a brand new waiting area. Let's have a little look inside. As I've just said, looks very brand new. Nice and clean, lots of seating. And on a cold day like today, very nice and warm. 
as well as these stairs, there are also lifts which will take you up to the ticketing level. Up on the overbridge concourse, you'll find the entrance to the lifts, a platform information board, some bike racks, and of course, some departure information boards. There is also an assistance point. Turning left from the platform stairs, from platforms three and four, will bring you to another set of stairs. Going up this set of stairs, you will see right in front of you an Oyster card reader, as well as an automatic ticketing machine. Moving on further, some information posters leading you out to street level. To your right is the car park and also another set of bike racks. Turning right though past the bike racks on the over bridge concourse, you'll come to obviously another set of platform information boards and carrying on, it'll get you to the main ticketing hall area. This new ticketing hall contains the ticket office and also a very nice small cafe. There is also an automatic ticketing machine when the ticket and information area is closed, as it was during my visit. And there's another look at the very nice cafe. Overall, I'm very impressed with the layout of this station. It's very clean, tidy, and very welcoming. The new concourse area certainly looks fantastic, and the coffee shop was very welcoming. Platforms three and four are very similar to platform one and two, quite wide, which will accommodate a lot of the commuter traffic that this station sees. As you can see, there's plenty of seating and also a small concessionary. Also on this platform, there also seems to be a brand new waiting room. However, I couldn't gain access. The statistics for Swanley are that it opened in 1939. It currently at time of filming has five trains per hour in both directions off peak with additional trains during peak hours. And the entry and exit figures for 2021-2022 were 922,280. Swanley is a typical commuter station in the southeast of London. The station platforms are wide, which accommodate all those busy commuters in the evenings and in the mornings. There are places to sit, and the brand new waiting areas look very nice, however, not all of them were open at the time I visited. For the railway enthusiast, sight lines are excellent, which will enable some good photography and videography, and so I would highly recommend a visit so if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. And if you can, get out there, get on the railway and see where it takes you. Thanks very much for watching.